Our bell left me a link to this video. Left me a link to a couple different videos I might speak on. This one is on the channel The Quartering, and it's called YouTube is Flooded with These Disgusting Ads. In the description of this video, he says, look, I love what little ad revenue I get. What little ad revenue I get, uh, they're lying again. But are we really going to be able to look the other way when we see ads for obvious spicy websites? All the display discounts, what, 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 what? All the display discounts are linked below. Thanks for supporting the channel. Ooh, you can get your limited edition disc plates. 35% off other disc plates. So even his little description here, ironically, is an ad. Now, one thing before I get into what he talks about as far as the ads go, he uh, said pretty much he was sure that this video would get a yellow. Would get a yellow. I saw an ad on this, a Manscaped Minute ad. Okay, so you were sure that it was, and you use as a defense, oh, you know, you your videos, like, I'll get yellows right there, Jeremy, right? And then you talk about this plate for three minutes or some shit, and then, I, I don't know, uh, Jeremy the Sordering, I mean, the Quartering, Jeremy the Quartering owned by Displate. He needs to get a fucking tattoo on his goddamn forehead that says Displate, okay? Jesus Christ. But, yeah, he talks about how, um, you know, some ads are bad. Some ads are bad. Some spicy ads are bad. Even though, like I said, he's basically just a walking goddamn billboard himself. Uh, I don't know. He brings up Destiny FOMO. He has an issue with her, and he saw an OnlyFans ad. He went to her channel. Uh, he talks about her briefly. talks about how she used to get a whole lot of views on her videos, but then, you know, less, less, less. And then... She had a video titled something about views or what's going on with her views, something like that. And then it goes to an OnlyFans. My thought on that is, uh, is she shifting from the YouTube channel, from the gaming YouTube channel and talking about gaming and stuff like that to uh, spicy things, as Jeremy would call it? I don't have an issue with whatever thumbnail she puts on her YouTube videos. You know, whatever she wants to display on her YouTube thumbnails, bless Destiny's heart. Whatever she wants to display. You know, people can criticize her. People, they can say all kind of things. But, you know, if you had them, wouldn't you flop them around? Oh, wait. If you have self-respect and dignity, you probably would not. You know, um, I, I don't know. I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to touch that. Okay, I'm not going to touch that. Whatever she wants to do with her channel, you know, whatever. Uh, Jeremy talks about how... It's ironic how when he uploads spicy thumbnails, just with uh, cartoon versions, you know, of stuff, uh, something too spicy, then he says that YouTube yellows it out and he doesn't make any money off of that. And he wonders how she's able to kind of get away with it. That's a question. It, it seems like there's a lot of saltiness here from Jeremy because, like I said, he brings that up. He uh, looks at all the views she gets. Um, he brings up, I, I think he alludes to the fact that she only gets views is because of, you know, the girls. Okay. Uh, I would say the only reason Jeremy gets views is because he rides that anti SJW wave, you know, uh, get woke, go broke, something like that. I would argue that's the only reason Jeremy gets any fucking views because obviously it isn't his personality okay it isn't his personality it's because he rides that gravy train that's what he does so yeah if you all thought that i was going to go on and get on one person's side no i think both of them there's issues there but arguably jeremy has far more issues i think than she does all right i mean i don't see displayed ads on i don't see three minute displayed ads on her video for instance